our topic is chapter 6 c in the textbook three first we shall discuss about first three topics first is fruit second is seed third is grain what is fruit fruit is the fertilized fertilized repent ovary of flower what is ovary you know in the previous class i was discuss about the structure of flower a flower a complete flower consists of four parts first part is the sepal inner petal then androecium gynoecium the unit of the gynoecium is the carpel each carpel contains three part when we consider a single carpel monocarpellary ovary a carpel lower basal solen part is called ovary upper slender thin slender part is called style and apical portion is called stigma where nectar is formed and pollen is deposited these are the general structure of a carpel this ovary when gets matured its ovule also fully developed within the ovule egg is formed this egg when fertilized by the male gamete then the total structure will be converted into fruit this structure will be converted into fruit from, from this conception it is concluded that the fruit is covered by a wall fruit wall fruit generally covered by the fruit wall this fruit wall is called pericarp what is pericarp pericarp is the ovarian wall matured ovarian wall when ovary is fertilized when ovary is matured its ovule is fertilized then the mature fertilized full repent ovary is transformed into fruit and the wall of the ovary is called pericarp this pericarp com comprise three layers outer epicarp second is mesocarp and innermost is endocarp so what is the function of the ovary ovary within the ovary seed is present within the uh, fruit seed is present present and within the ovary immature ovules or megasporangia ovules the, the immature ovule is called megasporangia this megasporangia is present the inner lining of the ovary contain placenta this is called placenta the inner lining of the ovary contain very soft tissue that provide the nourishment to the developing megasporangium this is called placenta several when several mega, megasporangia are present in specific arrangement then this arrangement is called placentation it will be discussed later then this megasporangia when megasporangia is fertilized by the 
male gamete then this megasporangia transform into seed so from this picture it is easily concluded that seed the ovarian wall protect the seed from external harsh environment that is the ovary function of the ovary protects the seed this is a main major function this is the main salient characteristics of angiosperm in gymnosperm ovary will not be formed in this case naked ovule is present and this ovule when fertilized transformed into naked seed this is the salient feature of gymnosperm but here it is the flowering plant angiosperm then the then the term seed in the previous fruit where they are fertilized is always required for fruit formation in some extent it has some exception that is the sometimes ovary directly form a shoot without fertilization in some special circumstances due to the action of some hormones oxygen and the process is called parthenocarpy 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 is the process by which a ovary transformed into fruit without fertilization it is the exception case due to the application of some external synthetic as well as natural hormones and it has very significant commercial value for the production of seedless seedless banana seedless um, grape etc then the seed in the in this case seed is the matured megasporangia what megasporangia is called called ovule when ovule in the present in ovule this is suppose this is ovule ovule contain one or two coverings within the ovule some tissue is present this tissue is called new cellus tissue this is called new cellus new cellus tissue this is called integument with some cell one cell of the new cellus tissue converted transformed into mmc megaspore mother cell one cell is converted into megaspore mother cell this is called m m c m for megaspore m for mother c for cell megaspore mother cell when megaspore mother cell is formed it undergo meiosis it is twin it undergo meiosis producing four haploid cell four haploid cell 1 2 3 4 among the four three are degenerated and one remain persist this megaspore this is this suppose this remain in persist condition persistent stage this megaspore this is called megaspore this megaspore then the nucleus of the megaspore undergo three mitotic division producing a eight nucleate eight nucleated seven celled state this is called embryo sac within the embryo sac suppose this is converted into 
embryo sac. What, what will be the structure of the embryo sac? Embryo sac is a oval or elongated structure. It contains a single large nucleus containing cell and two adjacent cells. These are called synergies and this is called the egg. Egg cell. Centrally to polar nucleus. This is the polar and other in the opposite pole of the egg three cells are present. These three cells are called antipodal cell. Antipodal cells. These are called egg and two are synergies. But these two are polar nucleus. And the polar nucleus is surrounded, present a large cell, central cell. This is the central cell. Central cell. When this egg is fertilized by the male gamete, then this egg will be converted into zygote. After fertilization, this egg will be converted into, suppose this is the egg converted after fertilization, this is converted into a zygote. In this case, when zygote formation is completed, total megasporangium is developed finally matured and fertilized and ripened then it is called seed these then this structure form a seed when the zygote will be formed after formation of the zygote seed total structure converted into a seed generally what are the how the seed are formed generally a seed contains a integument that is called the seed coat seed coat within the seed coat two cotyledon are present in dicot case and in monocot single cotyledon is present and a embryonal axis a axis also observed in our internal structure this is called the apical part that that will be when it mature it will be formed into a stem and the lower part when it mature it grow develop the root this is called the plumule and this is called radical in this case the ovary this is called the cotyledon cotyledon, plumule and radical. In this stage, in this stage, the outer surface integument a contain a, a scar. This is called hilum and adjacent to the hilum a pore is present. This is called micropyle through which water can enter into the seed for the help for germination. This is the a very simple structure of seed. This seed will be formed after fertilization of the megasporangium. Where megasporangium is present? Megasporangium present within the ovary. Where it is attached? It is attached inner wall of the ovary by means of placenta a soft nutritive tissue this is the seed and the third term is the grain what is grain grain is a seed where seed coat and fruit coat is fused they are cannot be separated easily the fusion of the fruit coat and the seed coat occur in case of grain. 
that is the example of the grain are mage rice these are called grain where seed coat and fruit coat are fused they are not separated easily in the, suppose this is a for example this is a seed when the seed coat this is the seed coat and outside the seed coat fruit coat is present when the seed coat and fruit coat are fused they are not easily separated in this case this is called grain this is called grain that up to this point we learn about fruit seed and grain then the question arises how many types of seeds on the basis of their shape their size on the basis of their cotyledon and on the basis of the endosperm seeds are divided into different categories now the types of types on the set on the basis of the size fruits are divided small medium and large example of the large seed is coconut coconut seed medium size is example mango and small very small size seed are uh, seeds are found in ficus as well as orchid basica small size to medium very small these are the size suppose in comparison this is a small size this is the medium size and this is large size this is the coconut then the second classification process seed on the basis of the cotyledon how many numbers of cotyledon present in seed then the on the basis of number of cotyledon when cotyledon number 1 this is called monocotyledon monocot and number when number 2 then the dicotyledon dicot monocot most of the monocots are cereals rice wheat maize dicot brassica mango etc then the another classification type of seeds are on the presence of endosperm seeds are two types endospermic or albuminous albuminous or endospermic and without endosperm x albuminous x albuminous or non endospermic these are endosperm what is endosperm endosperm is the what is endosperm how it is formed in the previous picture it was seen that there is the embryo sac two are the polar nuclei and these are the central cell Egg, two synergids, and three antipodal cells. The central cell, two polar nuclei, and this is a central cell, central cell, and polar nuclei. 
सेंट्रल सेल एंड पोलर व्हेन पोलर न्यूक्ली टू फ्यूज देन ए डिप्लॉयड जेनरेटिव न्यूक्ली डेवलप दिस डिप्लॉयड न्यूक्ली व्हेन फ्यूज्ड व्हेन फर्टिलाइज्ड बाय द सेकंड मेल गैमेट दिस इज द टू this is the chromosome number n type this is n and come another male gamete come that's chromosome number n in this case n n and n and n three n are present that is the three numbers of chromosome set are present here when two polar nuclei fused with another male gamete in the of the fertilization this is called the triple fusion when three nuclear fused this is called triple fusion this total structure will be converted into endosperm and the egg after fertilization form the zygote this endosperm provide the nutrition of the developed zygote the function of the endosperm endosperm contain the huge amount of nutritive substances and when the zygote develop that is a zygote cell divide mitotically and the cells are differentiated then the zygote converted into embryo during during the development of the zygote that is the during the formation of the embryo the endosperm generally provide nutrients different nutrients to the developing embryo these are the in the when these are the function of the endosperm and how endosperm is formed endosperm is formed from the by triple fusion from the fusion of the two polar nuclei and one is the third is the male gamete this structure when fertilized the triple fusion occur then the endosperm will be formed this endosperm provide the nutrition of the developing zygote form and helps the formation of the embryo the albuminous and x albuminous albuminous plant and x albuminous example of the albuminous most of the dicot are x albuminous dicot are x most of the dicot most most dicot are x albuminous are few dicot are albuminous most of the dicot are x albuminous few dicot albuminous example poppy second is the cast custard apple then monocot most of the monocot plus most of the monocot are albuminous most of the monocot are albuminous few monocot are x albuminous example example monocot are example which monocot are x albuminous that is called that is called the amorphophallus orchid dalisnaria in the next class i will discuss about a total elaborately describe dicot seed as well as elaborately describe the mono